everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And you can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. You can also find us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So today what I thought I would do is play with maps. I neglect maps. I have a bunch. Um, a lot of junk journalers probably do. And I do like them, but as far as journals go, I kind of forget about them. So I thought I wanted to get them out and I had a few ideas. But first today, what um, the idea I had was to watercolor them. I saw something in a book um, where someone had watercolored a, a map uh, for them to frame. And I thought, hey, that's a fun idea. You know, I could use that for junk journaling. Um, watercolor the the map and um, use it for um, maybe collaging or use it for uh, making tags or what have you. So I have a few things out and about. I have my little plate here that I'll use to mix um, or just use for the watercolor. I have a little thing of water. Um, I have a couple of brushes. I have my water brush and then I have just this uh, big brush. I I like I I. I'm not sure where I got it, either at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something. It's a triangular brush, which fits really nice in the hand. So um, anyways, I'm not an expert in any way at all with painting, watercolor, anything like that. And you'll see that here shortly. <laughs> you'll see the proof of that. Um, and then, like I said, I also cut up little pieces of... Um, what are these? Paper towels. I keep these right here because rarely do I use a whole paper towel. So I keep those in my little bowler. And um, then I also have, I keep this little spray bottle of water in the studio. Uh, sometimes I'll use it to spray and sometimes I'll use it to just pour a little water out if I need a little bit of water. Uh, then I have some watercolor pens. I think I got these on Amazon a while back and I really like them. I've also used watercolor um, pencils and um, I like them both, but I thought I would um, play with these for a little bit. They're called watercolor brush pens by Imuki, I guess. I'm not real sure, but I'm sure you could locate something like it uh, if you wanted to. And then what I did was I took a map, you know how nice they are folded, and um, what I did was I just cut one section off, and I am going to cut it just a little short. Let's see. Let me get my ruler here. Let's see. So my thought was is to, uh, for today, was to make like a little insert journal for a traveler's notebook that you could take out and maybe, you know, it'd be small enough to maybe put in your backpack or purse or what have you. And um, so I think what I'm going to do is go maybe seven inches ish and cut across here. I'm trying to cut my finger. Uh, so something like that. Let me set this aside and just show you here what I've done. <clears throat> so then the thought is, if I did this right, yeah, is to have just an accordion style uh, journal. Uh, this one's really neat because whoever had this before highlighted things. Um, they um, highlighted a trip. They also... Uh, let's see, I saw it somewhere they wrote something in here. This, so that's pretty fun. Um, but I've already done, started on one. Um, this is the bottom of that particular map. You can see that they've written on it and stuff. Um, so the other thing that you can do is once you watercolor, and of course this is just playing around. Again, I'm not an expert in any way. Um, but the fun thing is, is it does bleed through the back, so that's kind of fun, and it makes it nice and crinkly. You can take, like, let's say, let's say this was my journal, and I just wanted to um, maybe put a page down here for you to write on. So I could just take some dyed paper, and this is just, uh, you know, dyed paper that I did in the kitchen, 
and I could glue this down to where, um, make it a little bit more interesting here, glue it down to where you could write about your travels or what have you. This would have been really great for Alaska, um, or if you're just making a trip across the United States, there's Texas, um, Gulf of Mexico. This is also, I wouldn't even put anything here because you could easily write in all of this stuff. But anyway, so that's that's the thing is I'm going to make just a little insert a journal. Um, but what I wanted to do first off is just play around and um, just play around with some um, watercolors and then maybe even, you know, doodle on it later once it all dries. So um, let's see. So this is a little bit brown and I think what I'm going to do is kind of try to, I don't know, sp whoop, spice it up a little bit. Here's some pink. Now, I don't know how anybody else does it, but this is how I do it. I, I really don't have a lot of experience. I probably should watch some YouTubes or something. Let me get a little thing here. Um, and then I'm just going to dip a little. And if I was using my fine brush, I wouldn't need to dip in the water, but I'm, I'm not. So then I'm just going to get a little bit here of the pink a lot of bit and then I'm I'm just doing the whole section so this is one section here and uh, I'm doing that whole section because I want it to all be crinkly you know so that's basically it that's basically what I'm doing and um, again I'm not an expert you could also once you get a little bit of that water off of there for it put that's one thing I have learned is that you don't want to use this and let it dip in water or it'll really drain the color and then you'll have to wait a little while for it to move back down the pen <clears throat> but once once you get this covered and maybe once it dries maybe you could put another layer or maybe you could draw or paint something on it if you know how to paint <laughs> um I think that would be pretty if you knew how to paint, you know, you could do something like that. So, um, let's see. I think I hear Joey home. He ran to the grocery store and I, yeah, I hear the refrigerator open and close. So he's putting some things away. Anyways, once this dries, I think it's going to be, you know, fun and crick, you know, crinkly and, um, just have some neat, you know, a neat look to it. Now I am wondering, could we, could we draw something? Could I, do I have enough artistic talent <laughs> to draw, um, maybe a vine or something? Let's see. So I'm going to put some green down. Oh, that's nice and bright, isn't it? Well, I'll lay that out so I know which one it is. And maybe what's this one? That's pretty. Okay. And then I was kind of looking for maybe like a, here's one. I, I'm kind of looking for like maybe a winter green green. Yeah, I think that's a little bit closer. It's a little olive though. Well, let's give it a try. Let's use this one. I'm gonna just squeeze out a little water just to get it wet. And we'll try it. I don't know. Hmm. It's fine. Um. I don't know what I'm going to do from here. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to experiment on it. Yeah, so a little bit of vine here. Oh, I almost 
colored in that what is that that national park reserve thinking that was part of my vine I was like oh that vine's weird didn't surprise me it just you know I thought it was weird and then what I thought I might do then is at some point splatter a little bit um, just to give a little bit of dimension I don't know I don't know <clears throat> I'm really not I'm winging it totally winging it uh, and um, I'm not even sure really what else you know you would put on here maybe um, some flowers or something oh people are coming home from work buzzing to get home on a Monday it's Monday here uh, when I'm uh, taping this and um, I went to the library today which is super fun for me I just think it's so fun to go to the library and that's where I found you know I've been wanting to do some things with uh, with maps and so that's where I found um, that I saw that picture in a book where a person I don't know who it was but they had um, you know used a map and watercolored something and put it on the wall you know like true artisty stuff so it was pretty cool I think I'm gonna put one right here just to so that doesn't end I don't know I'm gonna wipe that out uh, okay so here we go and <laughs> um, so I don't need any of those greens anymore but I think what I'll do is put maybe I'll put some blue dots and I think I might just use it direct will the blue show I don't, how about purple maybe purple will show yeah so this may be a very short video just simply because um, Nope, that doesn't show very well because I don't really know what I'm doing and um, you know there's only so many things you can do when you don't know what you're doing but um, playing is so much fun and now I've got my maps out uh, so I'll be doing some things with them and I took my idea book to the library and, um, you know, wrote down some things. I just was looking through some books and looking um, for a series I'm going to do later. I was researching a few things just to see, um, you know, what I wanted to do. And, and I think I might have men mentioned to you that we have such a hard time loading videos here that uh, the Wi-Fi at the at the uh, library is pretty you know not pretty good it's really good um, I wasn't the only one there using the Wi-Fi so but I did get a video loaded <clears throat> that I did earlier and then at some point tomorrow maybe I'll go have coffee at the library and and load this video unless I load it overnight if I load it overnight usually it it'll go okay Primarily because uh, no one is using Wi-Fi here at the house. For some reason, if, you know, like your tablet is on Wi-Fi or you're using your phone or what have you, then um, a video won't load. So then if you are loading your video, uh, then remember I told you you can't use anything else here. So, yeah, so I don't know. This one might put a few in between here. Give it a little bit of color. A little chicken scratches. I think I first learned these chicken scratches. I mean, I chicken scratch, but not like overly amount like this. I feel like I first learned this from um, Rachel. At Roxy Creations, uh, 
she is like a master doodler, if you ask me. And uh, I really enjoy watching her. Um, but let's see. I wonder if this pen would bleed if I used it. Let's see here. I hope it doesn't bleed. That's okay. Yeah, so this is a fun, uh, even, you know, doodling. And you could even come at this with some acrylic. You wouldn't be able to see through it as well, but you would, um, you know, you'd still have a great time with it. Oh, see how I did that? It was still too wet. But that's okay. I'll put something washy or something over that. It's just where a uh, water, something, you know, bubbled there on the water when I was painting. Like right there. It's probably a seam. Yeah, it is the seam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then just connecting these a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe once I put some um, washi and some uh, a little bit of collaging on it and other things, maybe I'll like it a little bit, you know, more and more as you put more and more layers on it. So I think what I'm going to do is now that I have the pink down, I'm just going to see if I can get enough to, yeah, splatter some. Let me use my scissors here. Splatter some green down. I'll use up the rest of this. Yeah. So that's going pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little bit of um, purple on it. I splattered my arm. Um, where is a good purple? Seems like there was a really bright purple. Was this it? What's this? Brown? What's this one? Sorry about the reach. Brown? Okay, let's see about this. Oh, that was too much water there. Yeah, I do have to get, you know, enough water to be able to, to flick. And I don't know if you can, you can see that or not. They're very, there it goes. There's, I was going to say they're very, very fine little flicks. Okay. Now, how about, um... Black. Let's try some black. Get it out. I'm hoping. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, I'm not sure, but I was thinking maybe the last one on the end is black. And sure enough, it is. All right. Let's go for it. Oh, 
I like it. I like it a lot better. Mm-hmm. I'll just put some dots here and there, if they'll show up. I think what's going to be fun is the back side. Because it, it goes through on the back side. I think that's going to be fun. All right, now... For my grand finale, I'm going to wipe all of the color, not the black, and I'm just going to go over some of this that I've put down a little bit. <laughs> all right, let's see what's happening on the back side. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I wonder what would happen if we... Just picked up some of this color. It gives you a little slop, sloppy, slop. But it's still pretty cool. Watercolor is just cool. I mean, just the way it disperses itself, I think is pretty cool. Alright, so then um, we'll wait and see what happens once it's dry. It's fun. I mean, for me, it was fun. <laughs> and I hope if you're an artist that you can figure out a way to, um, you know, really make it work. You know, do this and, and make it, you know, do something that makes it work. I, my... I think the trouble with me is I just don't know where to, when to stop because I don't know what I'm doing and I just love the play. Um, and so uh, sometimes it probably is just too much. But the great thing about it is that, you know, I can cover it up with paper if I want to or some washi or whatever, but I've still had all this fun. So... All right, well, that's all I have. I just wanted to get in here and have a little bit of fun with this and a little play and, um, you know, some some play with journaling. And uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll finish this up, so to speak, you know, and um, I'll show it to you in another video. I'll show it to you what uh, the little journal I've made out of it. It's just going to be a little pocket journal. Put it inside a jur another journal. So that's the plan. This could even be coffee dyed right in here, which would be great. That's one thing. I See, I can't stop. It's one thing that I have noticed is that um, if you... If you um, wet the area first, uh, it seems like these little guys go down a little bit better. All right. Seriously, I've got to stop. I need to go make dinner. I've got laundry waiting to be put up. But when I got back from the library, I thought... Gotta, I gotta do something with the map because I saw that that map painting and so here I am doing something with the map if nothing else it's going to be nice and crink crinkly right okay I know what's going to happen I'm going to put this video on and you're going to you're going to say what in the world why did she even put that video on <laughs> but you never know. It might inspire someone to do something really great. You know? Someone that um, has a bunch of uh, maps and, and they've been thinking, I've got to use those maps or I haven't used maps in a long time. 
I think I'm going to give it a go. And um, what I'm also going to do is uh, I'm going to be using maps coming up, tearing them and things like that and putting them in journals, you know, using them on my um, on journal cards and on, uh, <clears throat> let's see, some pockets and, and things like that because I just really want to get these maps going. I am going to coffee dice some, though. They're not all going to be, you know, um, with with the watercolor. But anyways, okay. I keep saying I'm going to stop. And I am. I'm going to stop. Poor Joey's probably starving to death. I told him I would cook dinner tonight. He is exhausted. He has just... You know, he goes back to work this next week, and so this weekend and this week, he's really trying to take advantage of the time off that he's had because he's finally feeling like his mind and his body are catching up to themselves, like he wants to do some things, and his body is saying, yeah, let's try that. Um, but what happens is it just exhausts him. So I said... I will do dinner. We usually take, don't, we don't really take turns. We just, um, sometimes Joey will say, Hey, I was thinking about making this or that. And I'll be like, go for it. You know? So, but tonight I'm going to make dinner. Okay. All right. Enough. Enough about it. If nothing else, this could be your little watercolor journal where you just experiment. <laughs> okay everybody thank you so much for just hanging with me and um bearing with me and i i hope i hope that this inspires you to do something with maps i don't know what but something with maps okay thank you thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and sharing and um of course we always want to remind you that we pray blessings over you and i just don't want anyone to ever forget that you're so loved. So take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. If you do anything with your maps, especially watercolor, oh my gosh, I would love to see them. So let's hashtag, what should we do? We should hashtag, hashtag watercolor maps. Okay. Hashtag watercolor maps and um, let's share what we do because I know I will learn from from you all. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Have a really great rest of the day. We'll talk soon.